Hi, so this is part three in our series about common problems with porous building materials. Uh, and today we're going to talk about something called picture framing. Uh, here's a picture of picture framing. So as you can see in the picture, picture framing is uh, literally where you get a sort of darker patch or darker stain around the edge of a tile, almost like a frame, hence the, the term picture framing. Now this can happen in two different ways. The most common way when you have a porous material like a natural stone or a paver is when uh, that, that material is very porous and when you put grout in between the tiles or the pavers um, the water from the grout which is coloured with the cement and all the other materials in the grout will penetrate into the edge and then set inside the stone so you've got this permanent stain inside your tiles that you can't remove. It's not just on the surface, the grout's actually got sucked into the side of the tiles and, and is all the way through the material. And it's, you know, cement based or epoxy based or whatever and it cures inside there and you can't remove it. It's not like uh, some kind of matter you can remove. So it's a permanent problem and you want to be able to prevent it. Um, the other way it can occur is over time. So if you have some paving and, and it's been laid properly and pre-sealed so you don't have this picture framing happening, um, and you have your, say, your paving and your grout lines in between. Grout is usually extremely porous, much more porous than the stone or the pavers themselves. So you get a lot more water movement through the grout lines because water is going to take the easiest possible path. So uh, as the water goes through there, as it, as it goes in from rain and gets sucked down into the, into the paver and into the mortar bed and below it, and then the paver dries out and it gets sucked back up, um, to the drier area again and evaporates in there. That water of course is not pure, it contains all sorts of minerals and other impurities and uh, which get left behind little by little inside the material. Now as it's traveling a lot more through that grout area it's also penetrating more into the edges of the pavers than into the middle of the paver. So you get much more water going into the edges of the paver than you do in the middle of the paver and each time the water goes in there and dries out it leaves a little of those minerals and impurities behind and over hundreds and possibly thousands of times it leaves a permanent dark stain inside your material and again it's all through the material, all inside the pores of the material, it's not something you can clean, it's not something you can fix so the important thing with picture framing is prevention is definitely better than trying to make a cure because there is no cure so uh, again in order to fix this problem or to stop it from happening you need a penetrating sealer, but not just any penetrating sealer. It's got to be a technology that will penetrate far enough into the paver or the tile to stop any water movement from happening. So most uh, penetrating sealers will not do this. Um, dry treat technology, our, our sealing molecules, as we always say, are literally four to five hundred times smaller than other impregnators. And they penetrate much deeper into the material and make a very deep water repellent layer. And that, that means that if water travels into the edge of your tile, it can't get into that visible top section of the tile at all. And that picture framing will never occur.